This is a video demonstrating ultrasound findings in a patient presenting with sympathetic crashing acute pulmonary edema, also known as SCAPE. In our parasternal long axis view, a decreased ejection fraction is appreciated. Left atrium can be seen here, mitral valve, left ventricle, aortic outflow tract, and right ventricle outflow tract. Multiple markers can be seen that suggest decreased EF, including lack of significant wall thickening of both the septal wall and the lateral wall, minimal change in the diameter of the left ventricle during systole, as well as decreased opening of the mitral valves. An exemplary image of the patient's lungs can be seen here. We have rib, shadow, rib, shadow, and rib, shadow. Our pleural line can be seen here with diffuse B lines seen throughout multiple intercostal spaces, suggesting an interstitial syndrome. And lastly, let's look at the IVC. This is a long axis view of our IVC, which can be seen here diving through the liver and connecting to our right atrium, our hepatic vein can be seen here. Overall, this IVC does not appear significantly plethoric. There also appears to be some respiratory variation. It's important to point out the diagnosis of SCAPE compared to decompensated heart failure, as in decompensated heart failure, there's overall volume overload as well as fluid accumulation. However, in SCAPE, the acute pulmonary edema is due to rapid fluid redistribution from heart failure and increased systemic vascular resistance. In cases of SCAPE, the focus should be on non-invasive positive pressure ventilation and nitroglycerin as opposed to diuresis.